All right, y'all. I know you've already seen this place twice, but yeah, I ain't no magician. Magicians give a mirage of the truth, but I give the truth in a mirage. I travel back to the 21st century, to the time where half the citizens only cared about social media and popularity. In Iraq, there was war. Here, there are only idiots paying attention to others and not and only their phones. This is the social background of the play. The play is a memory. Because this is a memory, it is unrealistic. The light should be dim and it is emotional. In memory, everything happens to the rhythm of music. I'm the narrator of this play, but also a character in it. The other characters are my mother, Amanda, my sister, Laura, and a suitor who only appears in the last scenes of this play. And he is the most realistic character of a play, being a messenger from a world of reality that we were somewhat set apart from. But I've only used him as a, symbols, a symbol of our hopes and dreams. There was also a fifth character in the play who wasn't actually present in the play, but in his larger than life-size portrait on the wall. It is our father who left us a long time ago. He was a pilot who fell in love with the sky. He quit his job to explore the sky even more in the Air Force. I believe the last time we heard from him was a text message that contained only two words, hello, goodbye. I believe the rest of the play will explain itself. Yeah, Mom? Come to the table. It's time for supper. Fine. Whatever. Tom, put your phone up. It's time for dinner. We need to socialize. It's what families do. Dang, Mom. Can I not go one minute without you telling me what to do? Well, okay, Mr. President. Where do you think you're going? I'm gonna go get a Coke. You're always drinking Coke. Mom, I'm gonna go get dessert. No, sweetie, you stay. I'll get the pie. But I'm already up, Mom. You need to stay sweet and innocent for all your boyfriends. Sit back down. Boyfriends? No one's back to my family, Hey, you never know. When I was in, I remember one time when I was in college. I think I know where this is going. Just let her tell us. She likes it. You really want to hear it again? in college, I sat down in my very first class and a swarm of beautiful men surrounded me like bees to honey. There weren't enough room in the class for all of them. What did you do that made them so interested in you? I had a knack for chatting. <sighs> More like flirting. Why, yes! Back then, women actually knew how to flirt. <sighs> Are you sure? It wasn't enough to have a pretty face. Not that I was lacking, but girls also needed to know how to talk. Flirt, as you would say. What did you have to say? Lots of things, like current events, sometimes politics, you know, the usual. Nothing gross or disgusting like you would. My boyfriends were all so nice. A few of my lovers were su successful businessmen, politicians, actors, doctors, lawyers. I even dated Joe Biden, the vice president of our country. I also dated George Clooney, too. He, he died in the filming of some movie, he like drowned or whatever, and left all of his money to his no good gold digger wife. I also dated the Scott brothers, Jeffrey and Alan Scott. Jeffrey was one of my most successful suitors. He got in a fight with a Johnson boy and he ended up getting sued and was later executed. I also dated this guy um, from Chicago, I think? He was one of the cutest, well-off men I've ever dated. Everyone had a crush on him. What did he give his widow? Why, nothing. He never got married. This is the first guy that actually survived? What's that supposed to mean? He, he moved west and everything he touched turned to gold. 
But I chose your father. I could have been Mrs. Harrison. I'm going to go clean the table, Mom. No, sweetie, you stay. You need to go study your piano arrangement for your upcoming recital. I'll clean the table. Right? No, I did not go. I couldn't bring myself to go. What did you do that for? Why you want to you... know why, Laura Ingalls? You want to know how, how old are you? Weren't you there when I was born? I thought you were an adult, but I guess I was wrong. What do you mean? Why are you staring at me? It's creeping me out. Oh my gosh, what will we do? What is going to happen to us? Did something happen? <sighs> Mom, are you okay? What's wrong? I'm fine. I'm just a little worried about you. Just tell me what happened. Well, I was going to Heritage Club and I decided to start, to, ooh, I decided to stop by Huntington College to see and tell your teachers that you would not make it to class today because you were sick. I wanted to, to ask them about your performance and how you were coming along. And they told me they didn't know who you were. Oh, um. I walked up to one of your teachers and told them that I was Laura's mother, but she said she didn't know who Laura was. She had no clue who Laura Wingfield was. Wingfield, she said? I've never heard of her name. I told her that you've been going to school every day since January. And she said, oh, you mean the girl that dropped out after a few days? She said, no, she's not been going to school every day. She was taken out of the attendance book. You were marked absent every day after the first week of class. I then told her that there must have been some sort of mistake. I was wrong. Then she remembered that you broke down on your First day in class in a solo performance, you were almost sick to your stomach. Apparently they called the house and no one picked up. All that money, all my hopes and dreams for you, just gone, gone down the drain. Laura, put that down. Sorry. What are we going to do? You said you were going to school. I just walked downtown. You're lying. No, I'm not. I really did walk around. Walking in this cold weather? Were you trying to get sick? Where did you walk to anyways? Everywhere. Mostly the park. Even after you started to catch that cold? It's better than going to that piano classes. I don't want to go back. I completely embarrassed myself. So from 7.30 till after 5, you walked around in the park because you didn't want to go back to some piano classes? It's not that bad. I went to some places to warm up. Like what? I've been going to some museums and a zoo. I've recently been going to a garden to look at the flowers and the animals that come here. And also the art place. You went through all this trouble just to trick me into believing you were still going to class? Why? Why would you do this to us? Mom, when you look mad, you look like a- Shut a your mouth. I was scared. So what's going to happen? What will we do? Just watch others go on to be successful? Live with this art? Watch the home movies your dad took? We can't do business. We're not good at that. I guess we will have to rely on someone else. I know what happens to unmarried women who can't hold a job. They're humiliated the rest of their lives. And that, is that what's going to happen to you? That would be awful. But some do get married. Did you did you ever have a crush on a guy? I did have a crush on a guy once. I liked him when I first saw him. He sent you a selfie? No, it's in the yearbook. Oh, high school boy. Yeah, his name was Jim. He was in Seuss. What's that? It's showing on the other side. You know, the talent show we had at high school. He played the guitar so good. 
We sat next to each other in English every other day. This is him with his cross country self um, pro trophy. Look at his mouth. Isn't he cute? He must have been fun. He used to call me Aurora. Aurora? Why did he call you Aurora? When I first told him his name, he thought I said Aurora. So ever since then, he called me Aurora. I mean, I didn't care about his girlfriend, Sadie. She was always so perfect, but I don't ever think they were very serious. It says right here that they were going to get married. This thing is 60 years old. They gotta be married by now. If you're not gonna get a job, you better get a boyfriend. But mom! What? I'm retarded. Laura, never call yourself that. You are not retarded. You just have autism. Don't focus on the negatives. Work towards improving the positives so it can outweigh the negatives and improve your talents. Your father had a lot of talent. What the hell am I? I told you! Am I supposed to do? Not to cuss. Not in my house. Are you crazy? Yeah, I'm crazy. What the heck is wrong with you? You... <sighs> Look, I don't have anything. Stop shouting! That is mine and my life. Shut your mouth! Look, you took my phone without asking. I had to delete all those unnecessary apps you wouldn't get off of your phone. You <laughs> were too distracted. Oh, uh, ha, ha, ha. You, we need the money! Ha ha ha! Money, money, that's all you care about. So much you don't care about your children's happiness. How dare you talk to your mother like that? I told you! No, I'm supposed to keep my mouth shut and... Stop cutting me off! I've got a lot to say to you, mister! Well, I don't want to hear it! No, you don't! Nope, I'm leaving. Sit your butt back down! <sighs> Make me! Come back here, Tom Wingfield! I'm not done talking to you! <sighs> Whatever. Tom! You're going to listen to what I have to say. I'm so tired of you disrespecting me. I'm done. What the heck, Mom? You think I'm not done with you? Yeah, maybe you don't care about my life, especially when I want to be a little different from the others. You don't think that... I think you've been doing things you're not proud of. That is what's causing all of this, because you... No one goes and gets a Coke every night. Not a single person with a brain goes out and gets a Coke every night and comes back at 3 a.m. when all you were doing is getting a coke. Then when you are home on only in, ending up getting two hours of sleep and going to work half asleep, I can only imagine you sleep, slacking around and being so unhappy. You're in no condition. Yeah, you're right. I am unhappy. I hate it here. Do you have no sympathy for how it may affect whether or not you keep your job or how it will affect us? How do you think we could stay afloat if you were- Listen, you think I love my job? McDonald's? I'd rather get hit by a car than go back to that job, but I still go. Every time I hear you come into my room yelling God knows what, I say to myself, wish I was as lucky as dead people were. Even through it, all I still go. Just for the money I get. I give up the dreams I have and provide for you guys. Where are you going now? I'm going out. Lying all your life. Look, you want to know where I've been going? I've been going to the bar and getting myself drunk, you ugly witch. My painting! I can't believe you! I'm not speaking to you till you apologize. I was getting some coke. All the time, all this time, and you were just getting coke? There was a lot of traffic, and there was one guy who was talking about cigarettes who gave me some lottery tickets. Did you have to stay there that long? Of course! I only skated for a couple hours and met up with this graffiti artist on the run from the cops, leaving no trace of his existence surrounding his artwork. He gave me this can of spray paint on the run. But why am I being shushed? You'll wake up mom. <laughs> Good. That's what Deja deserves for all this lousy early morning she calls me with this absurd McDonald's job. You know, it doesn't take much skill to use a spray paint ball, but you gotta be extremely skilled to paint something so beautiful and not be able to claim your work without being arrested. Laura, tell your brother his coffee is ready. Tom, it's already seven. Get up. <sighs> You're gonna make mom mad.
She started it. She should apologize to me. But if you apologize, maybe she will too. Is her not speaking to me really a bad thing? Please, Tom. Laura, are you going to do what I asked you to do, or am I going to have to do it myself? Coming, Mom. Just getting my coat. Tom, please do what I say. Mama, what else do you need from the supermarket? I just need butter. Tell them I'll pay it next time. Mama, don't look at me funny. Well, their looks won't hurt you, will they? Tom, come tell your brother to come drink his coffee before it gets cold. Tom, please remember to do what I say. Laura, you better go or I'll go instead. I'm going, Mom. Laura? Are you okay? I'm fine. I just slipped. The need to fix the steps to our house or the landlord will be sued. I'm sorry, Mom. It, it was all my fault. I'm sorry, too. We really need to do better for Laura. We need to find a man for Laura. She can't provide for herself on her own. Block down, there was a dope nightclub called The Dream. The music was so lit, everyone on the street could hear it. The strobe lights were pretty cool too. They were deceptively colorful and lit up the dark room. The club created some pretty hype beats. There's some pretty high key makeout scenes behind the dumpster. Some grinding yes. too. People come here to experience a thrill non existent in their daily lives. In Iraq, there was war. Here, there was liquor, weed, and a strip club. But we had our own temporary happiness through shrooms and shots. The entire world was anticipating chaos while we were easing the pain. Tom? Hmm? Yeah? What are you doing? I'm watching the moon. You should make a wish on it. Right. What did you wish for? What did you wish for? I asked you first. Please tell me. I wish for the future of my children. Oh, I thought you wished for a man for Laura. No. Oh wait, that wish already came true. What? Yeah. When? How? He's coming tomorrow. I have so much to do, I have to prepare. Why don't you tell me sooner? Mm -hmm. Laura, Laura! Yes, mother? Come make a wish on the moon. What? Make a wish on the moon. The moon? The moon. What should I wish for, Mom? Happiness and good fortune. All right, Mom. Oh. Well, I brought Jim home for dinner the following evening. He was our high school hero from what I heard. He was a star of a cross-country team, captain of the math team and a soccer team. He did basically everything. And he was so successful at such a young age, people would expect him to be a CEO by the time he was 30. And he was the only one at McDonald's that I could actually talk to. He called me Bay, Michael Bay, because after the famous director in hopes of my dreams, because he was the only one I could tell my secret to. Laura, why are you shaking? You're making me nervous, Mom. Why am I making you nervous? I'm making all this commotion. You're making it such a big deal. What is the matter with you, Laura? Mom, what are you doing? You need to show your legs. But why are you making this look like a trap? Because pretty girls are a trap, and men expect them to be. Now look at you. Too bad this is the prettiest you'll ever be. Where did you say his name was again? O'Connor. What was his first name? Jim O'Connor, I think? No, it can't be Jim. Why? Did, was he the one that went to high school with Tom? Tom didn't say so. Why? Do you remember? when I gave you the picture of the boy I liked? The cute boy in the yearbook? Yeah, him. That's Jim? Yes. Are you in love with Jim? Were you? Well, I don't know, but I just know. I won't be able to sit at the same table with you guys. You will not be excused. But you have to excuse me, Mom. Tom forgot his keys. You will have to open the door. Why can't you open the door? Because I will be cooking. I will not be able to. Please open the door for me, Mom. Such a big commotion for one simple suitor. Laura, will you go get your butt to that door? Yes, Mother. Oh, 
Laura, this is Jim. Jim, this is my sister, Laura. Oh, I didn't know Tom had a sister. How, how are you? I'm okay. Oh, your hands are cold. Oh, I was just playing some games with my fun. You must have been playing those lame games. You need to be playing Candy Crush. What's wrong with her? Laura? She's just shy. Shy? Huh? It's hard. You never see shy girls nowadays. And you never told me you had a sister. Well, now you know. Here, you want to read this? Yeah, sure. Which part? Comics? Nah. Sports. Alright. Come on. Hey. I'm going to offer you a good deal. What is it? The course I'm taking. What? In public speaking. You and I aren't the type to work at McDonald's. Yeah, but what does that have to do with public speaking? With it, you could get an executive position. Really? It helped me a lot. How? What would you say is the difference between me and a man me and management? Brains, ability, good looks? No. Just a little difference. What difference? Social poise. <coughs> Tom? Yeah? Is that you and Mr. O'Connor? Yeah, Mom. Well, then take yourselves at home. All right. Come on. Ask Mr. O'Connor if he'd like to wash his hands. No, thanks. I already did before I left work. Tom? Yeah? Mr. Mendoza talked about you. <sighs> What'd he say? Take a guess. Well, you're going to get fired if you don't step it up. I am stepping it up. You aren't proving that to him. I'm proving it to myself. I want to change. I want to go somewhere where there ain't no McDonald's or Mr. Mendoza. You know, people taking a course in public speaking. What are you talking about? I'm tired of skating. Skating? Yeah, skating. All these millennials having adventures trying to escape reality. People trying to skate when they actually should be escaping. People like Tony Hawk, they show us what adventure really is. It's all hell, hell breaks loose. Then the audience finally gets to participate on this so-called adventure. But it's my turn now. I'm ready to live. Live? Yep. When? I don't know. Now? Now. I feel like I'm about to explode. On the surface, I might seem happy, but every time I flick a, flip a burger, I think to myself, what am I doing with my life? Does that make any sense? I want to do something better than flipping burgers and making big flurries. Look at this. What am I looking at? Those are my film buddies. I hang out with them on the weekends, and they help me with my director skills. You want to be a director? I pay for director lessons instead of paying the electric bill this month. You know you're going to regret that, not having lights or a stove for a week. Won't be my problem. What about Laura and your mother? I'm like my dad, a oh, son of a... Mm. I don't know if you've seen, but in that picture of my dad, he's smiling. He's been gone for a while. You're probably not serious. What does your mother think of this? Dude, shut up. Mom's coming, she doesn't know anything about this, so keep it that way. Hey, where are you guys? We're, we're at the dinner table. I guess you're the famous Mr. O'Connor. It's a pleasure to meet you. You don't need to tell me about you. Don't worry, Tom's already told me. All good things. I'm sorry about Tom. He doesn't always know how to act. Make yourself comfortable. Tom, why don't you open a window? It's so cold. I love winter. Christmas, clothes, decorating cookies, sweaters. Mom? Yes, sweetie? Uh, can we get dinner? Sweetie, ask Laura. She was in charge of supper. Go tell Laura that we are waiting for her. Do you know Laura? She? Let you in. Great, you guys have already been acquainted. It's not common for a girl to be both pretty and domestic. But thank God Laura is. I'm never domestic. Is dinner almost ready? Uh, I guess so. Let me see. Where is Laura anyways? Uh, she's feeling sick, so she decided not to come. Laura? Come to the table. It's time for supper.
she fine? Yeah, she's just feeling a little dizzy. What's up, Miss Perky? Hey, Jim, do you know how many actors it takes to screw in a light bulb? How many? One. Actors hate sharing the spotlight. Ha ha. Don't worry. Will you light some candles for me? I'm not good with the this thing. Here you go. Thanks. No problem. Hey, Jim, do you mind keeping Laura company? She's awful lonely by herself. Sure, why not? Hey, Laura. Hey. How are you? I'm feeling better. Can I have a pillow? A, a what? A pillow. <sighs> Sitting on the floor is nice. Do you want to with me? Oh, um, sure, I guess I will. Get a pillow, too. Aren't you comfortable now? I am too. Nothing as nice as sitting on a pillow. Gum? Oh no, I'm fine. Oh, that's a shame. Don't, don't you think it's interesting how the person that made gum is so rich now? Not really. Do we go to high school together? Yes, but because of my autism, I was placed in a special ed class. So we, so do we have any classes together? Yes, music class. Oh wait, I remember now. I used to call you Aurora. Why was that? Well, when we met, you asked me what my name was and misheard it for Aurora. So that's what you called me from then on. Oh, my bad. I hope it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't, I promise. I was used to it when I saw you. You were the only person I really talked to. Yeah, you did seem like a loner. I just don't have any luck when it comes to friends. I don't know why. Well, it, it just was never easy for me. Ah, well over time, you could grow out of being shy. Then you'll have many friends, I promise. Yeah. For example, my good friend Hunter Napkins was pretty shy in the beginning of high school, but as he became less shy, he got many friends, including me. You remember that, re you remember that recital me and him were in? Of course. Oh, wow, you still have that script? Look here, you are in the group photo. That's really cool, Laura. Did you watch that recital? Yes, yes, I did. Why? I was going to see if I could get your autograph. Why didn't you ask me to? You had so many friends, and I didn't want to intrude. You should have asked me anyways. Well, I don't want, I didn't want you to think I was. You were what? Never mind. OK. I just remember all the females that trampled for me. You were so popular. Yes, I know. You were just very nice to everyone. I was, wasn't I? Everybody liked you. Did you? Well, yeah. Well, here you go. My signature isn't really worth anything now, but I hope it's the thought that counts. This is off topic, but how old are you? I'm 21 in January. You're so old. I'm only 20. I'm not old. Huh, sure. But either way, you finished high school, right? No, I dropped out. Why? I didn't make high enough grades to stay. Are you still with that girl you did in high school? Oh, no, she was horrible. Why do you say that? Because that's what she was. What have you been up to since high school? I asked, what have you been up to since high school? Oh, sorry. Um, nothing really. You've been doing nothing at all? Well, I did walk around the park every once in a while. How was that? It was okay, I guess. What do you do nowadays? I make paintings. You know what I find, you know what I see as the problem with you? The fact that you are so shy when you don't need to be. Although my life wasn't as hard as yours back back in high school, I mean, I still understand what you're going through. You, all you have to do is think better of yourself. How should I think then? Just see yourself as superior, not inferior. You are a good person. But you have to show everyone that you just can't hide it. 
like the way I do it, the way I do it, by taking classes in radio so I can show everyone who I am. Oh. I believe showing people the real you is what matters most. That's what you have to do. You probably think I'm getting too personal. No, no, it's okay. Okay, well now, how about you? What is something that interests you right now that could make you that that could make you want to express yourself? Well, I do express myself through my art. I'm not exactly sure what you mean. Here, I'll show you my paintings. I have one of when I was little, and my dad made it for me. May I look? May I look at it? Just be careful for about it. I don't feel like I should touch it now. No, it's okay. I trust you. Okay. I mean, it looks great. Thank you. You're very welcome. Just put it on the table when you're done. Well, well, well. <clears throat> Would you look at that? My shadow was huge when I got up. It was. It stretched across the room. Yeah. I think it's not raining. Uh, where is it? Where's that music coming from? Oh, it's from the cl club across the out valley. Oh well, would you like to dance? Well, it'll it will be fun, I promise. But I can't dance. I'll step on you. It's not hard. Don't worry. I'm not as fragile as a painting. I don't know how to start. Just leave that to me. All you need to do is put your arms out. Is this right? Yes, that's great. Oh, I'm so sorry. Is it ruined? Oh. Oh no, did I ruin your dad's painting? No. It's okay. It just looks like my other paintings now. I'm so sorry. I bet that was your favorite painting, too. I'm sorry. I usually don't have favorites. It's okay. Paintings do not get do not do get ruined often, no matter how careful you are. I still feel really bad. It's all right. I can pretend it's an abstract art. <laughs> That's funny. I'm glad you have a sense of humor. You know, you're very well different. I'm good, a good type, though, from everyone else. Do you mind me saying that? I mean, it is, I mean it in a good way. You make me feel, uh, I don't know how to express this feeling. I'm not bad at expressing my feelings, but I cannot explain this emotion I'm feeling. <clears throat> Has anyone told you that you are very pretty? Well, you are. You are very different from other girls. A good kind of, a good kind of different. I wish you were my sister. I would teach you how to have more confidence in yourself. You are very unique, but don't be ashamed of it because you are not like everyone else. You are just you. They're, they're common like, but you, you, you are Aurora. Aurora. But auroras are... It's perfect for you. You're beautiful. How am I pretty? In every respect. Believe me, your hair, your eyes are all pretty. Even your hands are pretty. You must think I'm making this up just to be nice. I could do that, but I'm being very sincere right now. I happen to notice that you had inferior complexity. So someone needs to help you build up your confidence and make you proud of who you are instead of shying away. Here, you deserve for someone to love you. I can't do this. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta go. I heard everything, Laura. Are you okay? Oh, my bad. I'm... I have to go. Ah! I went far away. I was fired for getting caught writing a movie script in the janitor's closet. So, I left Montgomery and followed my father's footsteps. Laura, I tried to forget you and leave you behind, but I couldn't. Laura, blow out your candles because now, Everything is lit by electricity, and so goodbye.